Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So in this video I was going to explain how to create your own customized chat GPT bot but instead I will go over interesting GPT tools that I have seen so far. So the first one is made by OpenAI and it's the coloring book hero and I think this can do some really interesting stuff here. So let's say give me an outline of a coloring book for children between four and six so it says sure could you provide a specific theme or elements you would like to include in the coloring book outline it could be animal space fairy tale something like that let's go with space okay and now it's starting to create its first image that's awesome and then it says this outline is designed with simple lines and minimal detail making it easy for young children to color in okay that sounds good so now let's say that we're happy with this what i would do in this case is to tell it give me a list of 10 images that i could have together with this one you created for a children's coloring book and this is what we got so it says certainly here's a list of 10 additional whimsical space themed coloring book pages that would pair well with the ones i created so let's see here planets and stars so since dolly can create four images at the same time let's go with create the four first images of this list so I told it to create the four first images of this list. This is what it answered. I can certainly create one of these images for you. Please choose. So it wants us to choose one from the list. So I just said yes. And it created the first one, I guess. Like there are a lot of people creating coloring books for Amazon KDP. And this is what we got for the second one. So I like this image, but I don't like the coloring of the background. So let's just say, can you create this again? Make sure the background is white and not colored or gradient. And this is what we got now. So the aliens, they don't look as cute, but the background is good. All right, now create the third one from the list. So as you see here, this is how you can create an entire coloring book. And if you just pay someone from Fiverr or if you know how to do it yourself, you can just turn this into a KDP file. Yeah, so this is basically how you can create an entire coloring book. And moving on to the next one, we have Logo Maker here made by Andrew Gao. So it says, makes you a professional high quality PNG for your business. So let's say that I have a YouTube channel called Snowball AI where I cover different AI tools and updates. So it says, that sounds like a fascinating YouTube channel to create a logo for Snowball AI. We can incorporate elements that represent both the snowball aspect and the AI or technology theme. Here are a couple of ideas. So we have a snowflake and circuit design. We have a snowball with a digital glare. We have futuristic font with an icy touch and robot in a snow globe so let's go with the second one number two sounds just right and this is what we got here so yeah we have a snowball and we have the letters ai inside of it it looks decent like this isn't something that i would use but uh, let's say create a few more variations of this now after it has created the variations I want to try snowflake and circuit design so now it says that it cannot create a lot of variations instead it can create one more variation for me so let's just say you choose and it asked me for variations and color the pattern of the binary code the style of the pixelation so you can choose all of that but I just told it you choose I just want to see another variation see what we get so this is what we got and it looks quite similar it says here's another variation of your snowball AI logo let's say instead I have a tea store and sell high quality tea so it says, that's wonderful for a high quality tea store. Your logo should reflect their elegance and tranquility associated with tea culture. So we got a few options here. Minimalist teacup design, tea leaf emblem, Zen inspired logo, vintage typography. Let's go with tea leaf emblem. So this is the quality. It actually looks pretty clean. Let's try another one. So let's go with try number four. Okay, that's awesome. So this is what we got, the vintage styled logo. It looks pretty good. The text is correct. This text down here can be edited and this one here also. Besides that, it actually looks really good. 
let's say can you add a simple up and change the color to red and green so i told it can you add a simple teacup and change the color to red and green let's hope it follows the first image and just adds the elements so i can still see the vintage elements and the typography there is a teacup and the colors are red and green this actually looks quite good all right let's move on to the next one and then we have something called convert anything the ultimate file converter for images audio video documents and more it handles individual or batch uploads supports zips and provides a download link so this is made by pietro shirano if i am pronouncing it correctly and down here we have some examples convert this pdf to jpg can you turn this document into an excel file i need these files converted to mp4 convert these images to png format so i have this image here it's in web page format and i want it to be in pdf so i can just put it here and say convert this into pdf and now it says it's analyzing let's see so hopefully by the end of this it will have converted this web page file into a pdf for us all right so the first time it got an error and then it said the image has been converted to a pdf you can download it using the link below so i really like that we get a download link immediately and we can just click on it and it says converted image now let's see there we go pdf file that's really good yeah so this is a pretty awesome tool like i usually go to different websites to convert different files but now you can have all of this inside of chat gpt so convert anything and again you can find the link in the description down below so the next one on our list is simpsonize me this simply turns photos into simpson style art this is made by matthew schlicht and again we have a few options can you make me look like a Simpsons character? How do I get a Simpsons cartoon for myself? I want a profile pic in Simpsons style. Simpsonize my photo, please. So I have already prepared some images here and we have a bunch of celebrities. So let's start with doing, let's see if it works. Hopefully we get a good resemblance of him. Let's see what we get. This isn't really Dwayne Johnson because it has some hair, but let's go with another one. Let's go with Nas. This is not. All right, so this looks a bit closer, but I don't know if it's really Simpsons. Let's go with another one. Let's go with Oprah Winfrey. I don't know, it's not that close. Let's go with Quentin Tarantino. I like this one. Can you create other one? So to be honest, this is the closest one to Simpsons. So this is in the Simpsons style, but I don't think that it looks like Quentin Tarantino. But it's all right. So let's try with. Mr. Beast, the last one here. Okay, well, this doesn't look like Simpsons either. So yeah, this is what we got. Moving on to the next one, we have Designer GPT. It says that it creates and hosts beautiful websites. We have a few options down here. It says design a web page for a bakery, create a tech startup homepage, design a personal blog layout, design a web page with a nature theme. So I have already tried a web page for a bakery. Let's go with a web page with a nature theme. So we can start by clicking on that. And as you see here, it starts to get to work. And now it says some info will be sent to web generator server. Only do this for sites you trust. So let's click on allow. And then it will start to talk to web generator server. Now it says, I have created a nature themed web page for you. You can view it by clicking on the following link. The web page features a welcome design that showcases the beauty of nature with sections dedicated to gallery. So I think the images doesn't always load. Okay, awesome. Well, it did load actually this time. So there you see it has created a web page. We have some menus here, home, gallery, contact, welcome to nature splendor, explore the stunning landscapes, why nature matters, join our community and stay connected. So of course, this is far from a finished website, but as you can see, like it has done a pretty good job for starters. Now you can continue talk to it and change the design based on your taste. So here's another example. This is the first time that I had a conversation with it. Let's just hope it loads. There we go. So I clicked on design web page for bakery. It created a website and it said I have designed a web page for bakery named Sweet Treats Bakery. This is the page. Yeah, the image didn't load on that one. 
and then I told it, can you make the background pink? And then it updated the bakery website and let's see, yeah. So it changed the background to pink. And then I told it to now create an article about why bakery is a good hobby and is good for the brain and insert it in the front page. So I basically wanted to write some more text and have it on the front page. So we got an error. It couldn't talk to web generator server and then it tried again and it failed again. And then it told me that it could provide me with the HTML code instead. So I told it, sure and then it gave me the entire code and if we copy the code and if we go to something like real-time html editor and we just paste the code up here there we go now we got some more text benefits of baking bakery meditation brain health so yeah you can play around with it 